Well, and, and we wanted him to start identifying what some of his players can do and how he sees them continue to develop. But what I wanted to know is what was Diana Tarazi? But to put a cap on the Tarazi story, also said when she was in middle school, she would be outside shooting until the wee hours of the morning. And the parents were like, should we be worried about this? And Coach Quintero said, no. Someday those neighbors are going to say, <laughs> we remember when Diana Tarazi was outside shooting at 2 a.m. And the bank is open here in Orlando. Right wing three rattles down for Dana Phelan. Man, that's, that's saying something. And that Southeast team that they beat, a lot of folks thought may have been the best girls team here. That was a big win, and there's a big shot from the corner by Chloe Briggs. Between the two teams, we've already had 15 three-pointers attempted. Make it 16, and that one is good by Riley Waugh. There's that inside-outside game, but a nice steal by Dakota Corey. And an excellent finish. No, in and out. Perry goes to work. She's got it in a foul. And now Briggs trapped, needs help. Open shooters, Waugh. Riley Waugh has been key. Keep in mind, though, she does have three personal fouls. That was crafty by Steins, everything but the finish. However, cleaning up the mess, Aliyah Gonzalez. Good job by Gonzalez to anticipate. They're still going to need him here late in this game if they want to come back. Great pass inside from Zhang and off the window with a kiss for two by Pearson. And that's going to lead to a three on one. Zhang, no, offensive board Briggs. And then stripped away. Strong play by Croker. Megan Casey on the other end. That's a tough finish, too, because she had Steins trailing. Approaching a minute. Fernandez, her second three of the second half. The Northeast is not going quietly into the night. It's a five-point game with 101 remaining. That was a critical play. And now they have to think about fouling. You mentioned still a couple to give. Going ahead and taking the shot with confidence, Hallie C with her third triple of the night. What a shot by Hallie C. I was almost going to say you might want to hold on to that. And a reminder, coming up here in just a couple of moments, the Midwest and the Mid-Atlantic boys. But in our girls' game, the West wins it 54-46 to go 2-0. What a day for Coach Quintero and company. They seize control in the second half and never let it go. And that's where this team seems to continue building on what they did in the first win and finding ways to refine their style of play as they get set to close out pool play.